Hey guys, I'm back with another What's Sold video. But more importantly, we're going to talk about price per item, how to keep that elevated, and also one week's worth of sales, right? <clears throat> so this week I only sold three items on eBay, which is fine. I want to talk about what, what it takes to get to a place of selling, say, $1,500 of, of merchandise a week. Were this being 30 items, let's say, instead of three. But I just started reselling again after a sort of a hiatus. You can tell my accounts obviously had a lot of feedback. I was selling from 2010 to 2015 full time. And then I became a part time reseller. But I had um, $10,000 months frequently. Eight to $10,000 was my average, landing around 9000 But what I'm doing here is I'm starting out selling again I have um, about 200 items listed 192 I've been listing about five a day sorry five and then two more and I push those to a bank of drafts so that on Saturday and Sunday I don't have to sit and list so I have 192 active and what it takes to get consistent sales, right? So I had a little bit of a slump where I didn't have any sales this day or this day, and I had some sporadic sales over the weekend. What it takes to get really consistent with eBay is time. <clears throat> and I'm just going to talk about that a little bit because I'm starting over again, which means zero with no listings to 182. This is my second month back, and I'm selling very inconsistently still now what i have heard every reseller say and myself i'm going to experiment with and experience is that it takes about six months now i want it to take three for myself but it takes about six months to get consistent sales from what you're listing so i'm listing five to seven it would take about six months for me to see five to seven sales a day and consistency is key with any platform. So let's dive right into the sales. Uh, and remember, we are at a $50 price per item over here this week, which is pretty uh, high. And I'd love to keep it there. So um, first we sold this purse, this really nice Brighton uh, crossbody original like hobo sack. This is so beautiful. I paid full price for this, $8.99. It sold for my full asking price plus shipping. I'm going to ship this out today. Very excited. I like selling purses and bags. Um, a smart wool piece sold for me, a men's. So interestingly enough, I found this at the, the Ark, right? And I thought there was no holes in it, nothing. And then when I went to go uh, ship it and roll it and, you know, double check every single little area, there were some edges of the hem that were moth-eaten. And I didn't see that in the store. I didn't even see that like until I started to pack and ship it and inspect it like Inspector Gadget, you know, when you kind of put let things go out. So basically I found some holes on the hem and then one on the sleeve too. I was so upset. I had to call the buyer and talk to the buyer. I did give them a partial refund of $5 for the slight. There's only like three in the hem and then one on the sleeve. So that's four tiny holes and I gave him $5 off. So people will buy these with holes. I just didn't notice them. They were so faint on the hem. It was like I was folding it in the sun in my area and I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh. So I did upfront contact the buyer and let them know and I gave them a $5 discount and said if there's any more of a problem, let me know and I can rectify that because I want them to be happy and I didn't see them until the very, very end. It was awful. <laughs> you have one day to ship. <laughs> And you have, you have to solve a problem like that. It's really hard. Um, I wish I would have seen it before. So this brand is a comfort brand. It's I never pronounce these right. Just like Noat, Nowat, it's like Taos, Taos. I'm <laughs> just butchering these brands. But it's a comfort shoe brand. Let's see if I can get the, there it is. Taos, Taos. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But it's a comfort shoe brand. I got um, my full asking price for these, uh, $35.85. Um, and they are pay people are paying shipping. These are a cobbler shoe. If you ever see that like strange pointy toe little design, little elfin cobblin cobblin goblin and cobble, just add it all together. Okay, enough of that. 
So Talbots, experimenting with Talbots, but also always pick up cashmere that's branded. I even picked up Apartment 9 cashmere because that's sold at Kohl's. And it still sells for $98. If you walk into Kohl's right now and try to get a tal like a cashmere sweater, it's going to cost you $70. So here we sold this Talbots cashmere for $30. <clears throat> I'm going to ship it first class, so I should be able to get that as long as it's under 10 ounces or 8 ounces, which it looks like it is. I already shipped this, but um, that was a good sale. And then this was a one, this was a five minutes. These sold in five minutes of listing. I was like, where'd the listing go? Boom, gone. And a size six to boot, which is a small size. I got these at the bins. Um, they were in such good condition. They're Franco Sarto. Look at how great the condition is. They hardly look even worn. They're four inch heels, which I don't like heels, but... I'm telling you, these, these shoes are popular. There's certain Nordstrom shoes that fly out the door. And Franco Sarto in good styles like this, I guess, this was sold in one minute of listing. I literally did not know where the listing went. I was like, what happened? And then I realized it had sold. I was like, whoa. <laughs> that was fast. So anytime you're looking for women's shoes, see, this is why I don't have to worry about what am I going to sell seasonally because I sell shoes all year round, right? So that's really good. Okay, jumping over to Poshmark, um, I did have some good sales over here. One good thing about cross-posting, even in the beginning, is that when this is a little bit, you know, S-L-O-W, no jinxing anything, this picks up over here because the week, I can't get it to say current week because current week is right now and there's nothing sold today in the week. So they count the week from the 5th to the 12th, which is today. It ended today or starts today, whatever. So in this week that I didn't really sell very many items on the other platform, I sold plenty over here. So even just this month, I'm doing very well on Poshmark because it's intermittent, just like eBay is. So my sales were pretty good. Um, I finally sold a pair of AG jeans. I've been picking up a lot of these. I love these. My friend, My friends swear by them. They spend the money on them. They're $200 jeans, and I have several pairs. I wear them all the time. They sold for my full asking price, no haggling over here, so almost $40 for these AG jeans. They're men's, $33.32. Uh, Harris Tweed coming through with the sale. This one I let go for $45 because it's like a $38, and $38... fuck. I don't mean to cuss. I messed up in the listing. Oh, well. I put the wrong. I didn't. That's really bad. I used a different listing for this. Oops. The buyer. Uh, I'm going to ship this out today. So I'll communicate with the buyer that make sure they know it's a 38 long, which is in the title. So um, I just noticed that. But Harris Tweed for the win. I found two of these yesterday when I went um, shopping. It's this really great fabric people pay for, not the brand of the blazer. <clears throat> I don't even know what the brand is. So sold. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have let this go if it was such a small size because I got $69 for the one that was a 48 long. So another pair of shoes. Um, shoes are some of my biggest sellers. If I didn't sell shoes, I don't know what I would do. So I sell men's and women's shoes. And this is an all year round item because we have sandals, we have boots, we have all kinds of loafers, dress shoes, heels. The variety is endless. And these sold small size, right? Like technically, well, this is the average size, seven. Um, seven and 10 are the two average sizes, which is so weird. It's like jumps, you know, you either have small feet or big feet. <laughs> and I have bigger feet. I have an eight and a half, nine. So... My mom's a seven, though, and that's like the average size of a woman's shoe. Uh, bins pick up uh, this long J. Crew wool size 10. I wasn't going to leave this there. It was so pretty. I did have to, uh, what is it, roll this thing. It did have hair all over it, you know, like at the bins it does. But I was just like, this is such a beautiful all wool J. Crew jacket that I'm just going to pick it up and roll it. And I did. And it sold within a week, like a few days, because I'm listing, basically, I'm a week ahead. So everything's photographed, ready to go, and I have 60 items here to list. Like, that's where I'm behind his listing. I need to get more drafts done. But this sold within a week, really quickly, because we're, it's in season, and 
they got it for $40. I think I asked $49, so I just sold it for $40. This is hilarious because I had this vintage top. I tried to sell, like, I always do stuff online because I've been selling on Poshmark and eBay forever. So I was trying to sell vintage clothes for a while. This is the cutest vintage top in the world. It has these little pockets up here and it's like a crop jacket. It's so cute. And I had it, this is like the longest running item I've had. Look, it's got the black, it's got the brick background or whatever I'm trying to say. Um, anyhow, this was like the cover of my store logo. I use this jacket because it's so cute. Like it's so floral and cute. Finally sold. Yay. $20. I was like, wow, that's, I've had this up for sale for over a year. <laughs> it's hilarious when that happens. Vintage. Yeah. So, okay. Men's shoes. Woo. <clears throat> I had to get a better picture system going because this is a pretty bad picture. And it's kind of hard to sell suede. The suede just generally looks dirty in photographs when it's not. These are these are in great condition. Just because they had like a little suede pilling, didn't they were barely even worn. Full asking price, $50 for these um, Cole Hunt penny loafers. So that was a sale that um, I didn't pick these up at the bins. I got these for $5. So 49, 5 into 49 is what I really like. Uh, last but not least, oh, there's one more sale. Um, Lucky Brand shoes for me do really well. I've always picked them up, especially in this beautiful condition. And these are like a strange, like loafery, penny loafer. These kind of shoes women love. They love loafery. Like I sold the Paul Green ones and then I sold these like the same week. So I've sold so many loafers that I just know people love them. And Lucky Brand... Uh, Franco Sarto, uh, J. Crew, Talbots, certain shoes do really well. So this is one I pick up all the time, Lucky Brand. And then, okay, last but not least, that Bowden cape sweater I wanted to keep so bad. So pretty. Navy with two detailed buttons down the side. This one had a lot of likes. And uh, sold pretty fast to a 10% uh, offer watcher, you know, for my Posher VA, which I love you thinking about how to give yourself a raise or how to get yourself to like over I mean look at this like all of a sudden I was at 6,000 followers when I got the posture VA swear to god 6,000 and I I've only had it now for it's an extension you put in your browser so today I've shared 209 items i've shared other people's items i've uh got 50 people that i'm following because i'm setting it up to follow people so i can get this number up more and then um it sends offers to watchers whatever you want to set up seven minutes after they like the item it sends a 10 percent offer to the watcher with 4.99 shipping discount so that's a feature i really like you don't have to sit here and share it does it for you. All the items are shared down here. And I just love it. I would recommend the Posture VA to anybody. It's 20 bucks a month, but it's a cost of doing business. So one more time back over to eBay, which is, um, like I said, inconsistent still because it's going to take three to six months of listing every day, every day, seven days a week, five to seven items, which I list seven to go to a draft bank. And then go into Saturday and Sunday, 5 go live. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I hope you stay tuned with me on this amazing reselling journey that I'm starting again.